Magdalena Carmen Frida Kahlo y Calderón, also known as Frida Kahlo was born on July 6, 1907 in Coyacoan, Mexico City. She was raised at the family's home, which later known as the Blue House or Casa Azul. Frida Kahlo was regarded as one of Mexico's best artists and gained enormous worldwide acclaim. She created vibrant paintings in a style that was influenced by Mexican indigenous cultures as well as European influences like surrealism, symbolism, and realism. Many of her creations are self-portraits in which she symbolically expresses her sexuality and sorrow. Kahlo initially met Mexican muralist Diego Rivera at Mexico City's National Preparatory School. He received a commission to create a mural for the school while she was a student. Despite having a 20-year age gap, they got married in 1929. Kahlo was, the most wonderful part of my life, according to Rivera. This could have been the case, but it did not stop him from engaging in several relationships. They were, an elephant and a dove, in the words of her parents, or, like fire and gasoline. The pair separated in 1939 due to their troubled marriage, only to remarry a year later. Frida was especially close to her father, and she would spend days on end helping him out in his photography studio, where she got a taste of arts. But even though she loved helping her dad out, and even took some drawing lessons from a family friend, she never really thought about it. Instead, she was fascinated by the sciences and biology, since she was young, Frida Kahlo had an ambition to become a doctor. Through her studies at the National Preparatory School in Mexico City, she was chasing that dream. However, that all changed when she involved in an accident on September 17, 1925. Kahlo and her friend were on their way home after a day of classes. They boarded a bus heading toward Coyacan. The bus they were riding collided with a streetcar, and because of that accident she suffered near-fatal injuries to her spine, pelvis and hips, and was bedridden for months afterward. She had a special easel attached to her bed while she was recovering so she could practice painting techniques. When she got to work, she started to depict the world in accordance with her unique perspective. She became known over the course of her life as the inspiration for amazing art and its creator. Kahlo abandoned her goal of becoming a doctor because she was so engrossed in the delight of artistic creation and devoted herself to painting instead. When she remains bedridden for three months following her injury, her self-portraits become a significant part of her life. Frida Kahlo once said, I paint myself because I am often alone and I am the subject I know best. Kahlo's self-portrait in a velvet dress, 1926, which she painted while recuperating shows the significant changes she was through. The painting focus is on her strong brows, facial hair, long neck and formidable stare. For the first time, she portrayed herself on canvas with a prominent unibrow, and the turbulent seascape in the background represented as a symbol of her life's turbulence. These characteristics persisted, although Kahlo soon started to show herself in more unusual ways. For instance, the broken column, reveals her emotional and physical status through religious symbolism, imagery, and a ruptured landscape. Kahlo started making references to a range of traumas she had experienced as her self-assurance and confidence as a painter grew. A young woman who resembles Kahlo is seated on a wooden bench in the painting, the bus, in a scenario that evokes the last moment before Kahlo's tragic tragedy. Later on, Kahlo portrayed starker imagery to convey her emotional and physical suffering. In Henry Ford Hospital 1932, Kahlo depicts herself in a hospital bed bleeding after a miscarriage, tears sliding down her face. This is The Two Fridas, 1939, it's one of her largest and best-known works. She painted double self-portraits sitting side by side after her divorce Diego Rivera which conveys the pain of loss and a fractured sense of self. The one on the left wears a formal Victorian dress while on the right is in traditional Mexican attire. The Mexican Frida shows sadness and is slouching like though her problems were holding her back while the other shows no emotion even when her heart is exposed to the viewer. It gives us a revealing glimpse into her inner life of Frida the person. Kahlo seems to have suffered more than what the majority of people would think was possible. With a marriage to a sexually unfaithful man, she endured mental and bodily pain her whole adult life. At the end of the day, we can withstand far more than we believe we can, she said, effectively expressing her agony. She was able to persevere despite her discomfort because of it. She openly shared what was difficult and hurtful rather than keeping it to herself. She herself is a disabled artist who showed us that we can just stand up and be who we are. We can see from here that Frida Kahlo didn't hesitate to address social issues, sexual identity, or political action.